Nursing in the Faculty of Health at Dalhousie University. I'm also the flagship co-lead of the Improving the Health of People of African Descent at the Healthy Populations Institute at Dalhousie University, as well as the Director of the Environmental Noxiousness, Racial Inequities, and Community Health Project. My research is focused specifically on the social and environmental determinants of health. Uh, I'm currently uh, conducting studies on environmental racism and its social, political, economic, and health impacts. I also look at uh, mental illness in Black communities and Indigenous communities. And most recently, um, I have been involved in a new study on the impacts of COVID-19 in the African Nova Scotian community in the Prestons. We've known for a long time, for at least uh, 20 years, that uh, marginalized communities, specifically Black and Indigenous communities, uh, suffer higher rates of various chronic diseases and also mental illnesses. Uh, specifically with COVID, um, the study that I'm currently leading is a response uh, to what we've seen in the United States. Uh, with low-income and African-American communities suffering higher rates or being more exposed to COVID than other communities because of where they live, but also because of race and economic factors. Um, as the pandemic hit the United States, we were starting to see something similar in, uh, in Nova Scotia. Uh, a press conference was held by Dr. Strang um, in March, I believe, or April, where he mentioned that the Prestons were a hotspot for COVID-19. So the research that I'm doing comes on the heels of that press conference, and it's a way to respond to the greater exposure of uh, African Nova Scotians in the Prestons. Um, so we're doing two things with this project. We're looking at whether or not this is a community that is at greater risk. Um, that information would provide us with a response strategy in terms of how we should deal with uh, COVID-19 exposure and infections uh, for the African Nova Scotian community and more broadly for other marginalized communities here in Nova Scotia and Canada. Uh, but it also provides, uh, pr provides us with information that we can take to policymakers. Uh, essentially, this is a policy project. It has policy implications because it provides us with a tool or a template uh, that we can provide to federal and provincial government uh, in terms of how to collect this aggregated race-based data, but also how to prepare for future pandemics. Yeah, I'm, I, I think in conclusion, I, I'm really excited about this project. Um, I'm leading this particular project, but I'm working with a team of Black researchers and graduate students here at Dalhousie. It's very exciting for all of us to be part of this very large team and doing this work and working together across disciplines in many cases to come up with a template or a strategy of some kind and with this and to come up with this data in order to address this particular issue. It gives me hope uh, that there is a growing commitment to address uh, the health issues experienced by black communities and other marginalized communities. I think for quite a few years, you know, as black health researchers, we felt that that commitment wasn't there. And with this funding opportunity, it inspires us and it gives us hope uh, that there is a real commitment uh, by the funders, uh, by Dalhousie, by Dartmouth General Hospital, by all the other funders that are funding this particular um, opportunity uh, to address health disparities in uh, Black communities here in Nova Scotia. So I'd like to thank you for that.